This morning, Monique thought I was going to our local con show. I was, in fact, going to Mornington, which so, is half an hour away. away. So, we drank these three hours ago. Yeah. Because I walked into madness. Oh. And Charles, who needed a nap. My memory of it is it was delicious. You? A six out of ten. Which I think is actually quite good when. Tell me, justify it. Go. Justify it. Well, first of all, I think this is not their fault, but it was slightly cold. It was so, then give it seven. No. Take the temperature out of it. Okay, it's still a six, I think the best coffee that I've ever had. That's a 10, right? So I can't in good conscience mark it a 10 when I'm comparing it with the best coffee I've ever had. Yeah, there you go. Um, so I would say a six because it was slightly bitter, which is black coffee. Um, it was a little bit sour as well, like a sour bitterness, like in the front part when you taste it. And then as you start to take more sips, it then goes to like that dark chocolatey, which can be really nice, but it was like dark chocolatey and then bitter at the finish. Yeah, okay. And I find, especially with black coffee, I immediately wanted water. Like, as soon as I started drinking it, I was like, I need water. Yeah, okay. And I don't like that coffee. Uh, I was impressed with the wait time. Three minutes. Three minutes? Three That's minutes. We went, there was that one cockhead in the car park. I doesn't know where he's going. Was that you? Uh, no, 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 no. Oh. So, I'm going to give the coffee 6.7. Uh, for the entire experience, including coffee. I have had better coffees from there, mm. uh, and I have had better coffees in my life, but my goodness, have I had worse coffees. I've definitely had worse as well. Yeah. I've um, had like negative 10 worse mm. as well. Mm. 6.7 is great, I know. for the record. What would you rate the car? Well, I just took it for a drive, and actually similar. I feel like I would say that's like a 6 to 6.5 as well. It is really hard, because how are you going to judge that against a Ferrari? That, yes. I also, yeah. like, I'm wearing probably the wrong shoes to be driving it. I drove, like, platform sandals, which driving a manual in platform sandals is probably setting myself up for failure. Beautiful having the sun in your face. You feel like you're getting some vitamin D. What was missing? I guess that's what you've got to consider when you're scoring. You start at a 10, mm -hmm. and then you go, why is this not a 10? I think this is the fault of the car, this particular car, versus the MX-5 alone, mm. is that I just wanted to go quicker. Ah, ah. I just wanted to put my foot to the floor. Yeah, okay. But I was really conscious when I was changing gears that I could The clutch is getting stuck under hard acceleration. Yeah, so I, I was... Missed that. Okay. Yeah. Um, so that's why I felt like, and again, that probably, if I were in any other MX-5, that just didn't have that problem, and I was able to like drive it harder, I probably would have had more fun. Mm. So this MX-5 has tainted the experience of the MX-5 for me. It smells in there, the <laughs> roof is leaking, and it smells a bit damp in there. That sucked. And I did have on my mind the fact that the clutch pedal, so basically what's happening under hard acceleration, clutch, change gear, if you do it twice quickly, change yeah, gears twice right. quickly, the clutch gets stuck. So it'll come out this far and you've got to put your foot under to pull it out. Um, sort of master cylinder issue, I just had the master cylinder looked at. I think the, it sounds like the pressure plate is getting stuck. Anyway, yes. the upshot is uh, it really tainted the experience for me today. And I'd say, ah! again, a 6.7 for the car. Any other day though, any other car, I'd say a 10. Uh, the, yeah. I love that car. I bought one. It is my car. So I'm so used to your Ranger when it's like such a smooth drive and then you get in the MX-5 and it's so rough. I came in and I was like, is that car okay? It's designed to feel rough, like a hairy chested man's car from the 60s. Yeah. But for me, that's part of what makes it great. Which I think I, like, I used to love driving that car. I drove that car until I was nine months pregnant. Now I'm like... Just not used to it. Yeah, I get young. Anyway, this kid's gonna crack the shit, so uh, let's call it. What I like about the Mazda MX-5 is the fact that it's all about the sensation of driving. A lot of cars are about how quick they go, how practical they are, what they look like. This is all about the harshness and the vibration. It's not a fast car, but it gives you the sensation of speed. like a ton, it's got a 2 litre 4 cylinder engine. Well, 
once you put all those ingredients in that mixing bowl, you get this really exciting, extra spicy 